for the RAD program. This means that workers at RAD buildings can make as small as minimum wage.
likes to live. So thank you so much. And I hope
that's a problem too. And so we want to make sure you can afford to do that work. We want to pay you $150,000 a year. That's fine by me too. But either way, I'm co-chair of the Progressive Caucus. I'm at the planning dispositions on the subcommittee. We meet every two weeks, and every single two weeks, we're asking whether or not our public service workers will get the wages they deserve, the benefits they deserve, because this is your government, and the money should benefit you too. Thank you.
Well, there was, there was a, was a, a union that's, that needs people's voices to be lifted. I want to be part of that. And I've always been a part of that. Uh, and, you know, this administration has a lot of trouble around NYCHA to begin with. Um, they don't need to add another one to it. To take away good paying jobs, to put jobs in that are just a minimum wage when people are struggling, uh, I don't know what the word is for it, but it ain't right. Yeah. It definitely ain't right. And you see all these council members here, they're here because it's not right. And they're here because we're tired of hearing misinformation from this administration. And we're going to stand up and say, when it comes to this, this is a union town. Yeah. yeah. New York City is a union town. Yeah. Unions are under attack across the nation. We as New York City are going to stand up and say as a union town, we can't do it in just words. We have to do it in action. We have to do it in resources. In a $90 billion budget, we can find a way to make sure that people have prevailing and livable wages so they can live in the houses that they're helping build and they're helping service. Yeah. Yeah.